first what we're doing is kind of like just kind of surveying around a little bit to see what's going on and you can see up at the top of the ridge here we have some missing shingles looking for is we're looking for this bruising when the hail comes down um, it actually hits the roof kind of leaves like this little circle mark right here when you rub your finger on it you can see like if you rub your hand on it the granules start to kind of come off of the roof in like a perfect circle so you want to mark those what the insurance company is looking for is a minimum of 10 to 15 hits in a 10 by 10 foot section on the roof so Normally you'll see most of your hail marks along the, the peak of the roof as they kind of deflect as they go down. But when you have a dormer like this, you know, they, it has a nice angle. So you can see on this side, we have a bunch of, of hits right here. I kind of work my way from one side to the other so that we're being real thorough. So I kind of always start at the top and kind of work my way down. Some of this stuff is from the last, you know, the heavy winds. So these are these are marks that you put on the roof to indicate that this is um, a wind-driven shingle. You don't have to worry about creases because the shingle is actually completely gone. But you can see some of these shingles are creased up, so we mark them. This is exactly how the insurance adjuster comes out and takes a look at things. You know, he'll he'll check the, the shingle, see if it's loose, um, like this one here, loose. So we mark it. He marks it at the top, just like that. The one thing you do want to do. We're not trying to make sure they have a claim. We are just documented damage so the insurance company knows. A bad roofer is gonna come up here and try to make it look like you have to file a claim. A good roofer is gonna show you what your damage looks like, and then we let the insurance adjusters make that decision for you. But you never wanna you know, over-exaggerate things. You just wanna be as honest as possible. So just looking at this shingle here, you can actually see the crease marks in this shingle here. So this one is probably loose, yep. So that's a marked shingle there kind of work our way it's kind of a, a tedious process but you want to make sure that you document everything so that there's no opportunity for the homeowner to miss out on an opportunity to get a clean roof so. now one thing one thing that you know is something close to pay attention to is a lot of roofing companies and a lot of you know field guys they you know they come up on a roof and they say oh this is all hail damage Actually, if you look at a couple of these marks right here, now this could possibly be from a, a hailstorm in the past, but you can see that the fiberglass mesh is in is already exposed in these two locations right here. So this is more of what you call a blister than a hail mark. Uh, the, the biggest difference is this right here is is a hail mark. It's fresh. When you touch it, it's actually soft where the hail impacted the shingle, and actually if you lift this shingle up a little bit it's soft on the back side of the shingle right here so this is an area that we can mark as a hail hit and that's actually a fresh hail hit but you can see that there's several blisters all around here and that's just from the wind pushing the shingle but then we have some spots over here where these are fresh marks right here like right here that's a, that's a fresh hail mark so we're on a roof over here in Lake Mary um, it's kind of on the Lake Mary Sanford border we're off of old old Lake Mary Boulevard a uh, storm came through here, so you know we're just kind of canvassing through the area and, and checking them out. We're all wrapped up with our inspection. This roof should get bought, no problems. We're out. <laughs>